Uh, thanks to uh, Dave and Mark for joining us for a uh, post-match reaction from tonight's 2-2 uh, draw with Barton Rovers here at the Erie. Skip, always difficult for us to uh, to play so soon after the, the highs of the cup final on, uh, on Tuesday night, but despite going behind, I, th I think we put in a, a really good performance under the circumstances, and but for applying those finishes in the final third, I don't think we could have done much more to get the three points tonight. No, I thought, I thought Tuesday we played very well. I thought that's probably our best performance of the season. Obviously, the, um, the occasion probably adds a little bit to that. But today, I thought we was outstanding again. I, I, I was concerned coming today, not not the fact that we're desperate to win and um, uh, it's a win at all costs game. I was more concerned. The lads put so much effort in 48 hours ago. The fact that they're coming, we're asking them to play another game. Uh, there was there was, was always that possibility it might be sort of a after the Lord Mayor show type thing where yeah everybody has that come down from from such a such a great night on Tuesday. But I, I, I thought the the lads who were back out there again after after playing Tuesday. All of them, all of them put a great shift in. Well, I think I think the, the experienced lads got us through the first fifteen minutes. If you look at Colsey, the two marshes, um, Adam as well, honey. I mean, he's twenty six now, so he's learning. Twenty five. They got through the first fifteen minutes because that was going to be key tonight. Because what you can't do is, is concede a couple of early goals. You have got seventy minutes. Your legs suddenly feel a lot more tired than what they probably were that early in a game. We got the goal. Got see on the video, but that is an absolute stonewall penalty at one 0 to us. He hasn't given even their player. I see um, one of the, the left back who I know was a big old United last year. He just smiled when I asked him because he knew it was. So potentially two 0 and then then and plays we did. I thought we were brilliant. Second half, we was all all but camped uh, in their half. I mean, I spoke to their manager Jermaine, but sometimes when you're two one up. A game can dictate itself, so they were holding on to a 2-1, so they were defending deep, we were getting the crosses in. They had us on the counter-attack a couple of times, I think at one point they had a 3v1 and they just kicked the ball out, which was lucky, but the, the lads, fantastic, honestly, it was just a pleasure to watch, it was just, we played good football, we played the right way, to see Alex back out there, first full game for a while, brilliant, Adam was only going to play 60-65, but felt he could finish, so and I thought he was superb. You're just looking through them again. That was similar to the interview on Tuesday. You start naming everybody. Um, yeah, but very, very good. Dave, um, was obviously we lost Fisher early in the game. He was a he was a doubt at the start. Um, we sort of touched on before we sort of came on here that maybe him going off and us being able to put Bailey on gave us a. Almost, almost played into our hands because it gave us a, a, a different attacking dimension for, particularly if say he came off, it came on in the first half, but it gave us a, a, a sort of a better attacking dimension in the second half for us to uh, to get back in the game. Yeah, it did. Um, look, um, an hour before the game, Fish Fish wasn't going to be involved. Then he mentions he was going to come and have a come and have a try. Then he goes out, and I walk out, and I said to him, "Look, there is no pressure on you to, at all." If you feel it at all, just tell me. We just leave you out. It's not an issue. I walk out and I speak to him, and he went, "No, I'm fine. I'll give it. Up. You know, I'm going to give it a go." And we all know what fish is like. And let's put that it's it's too brave for his own good, if I'm honest with you, because he was limping from the very first whistle, and so we're we um we probably play well. We're playing with ten men. Really, he can't. I think if fish is fully fit. I don't, I, you know, I think he probably stops at least one of them because he's there, he's quick, uh, and, and of course you're able to get up in the air to win headers and big tackles and whatever. So we couldn't do that, um, and you know, and so and you're right. So what happened then? It, it makes us, it changed it to we changed it then to a back four. We then had the extra player in midfield, which I thought allowed us to start dominating in there. Um, and then you've got Bailey on the pitch along with Alex who started running at them and you know caused them no end of problems in the second half and towards the end of the first half we got we, we set off with Lee in the four we put him in the ten we put Tom back in the four that gave us um, you know a bit, it gives us a lot of stability in there and, and you've got that power of him winning tackles winning headers and he set tons and tons of you know lots of our play off um, 
So yeah, look, you're right. It played into it, and, and you know, like Skip just said, we 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 had so much to play second half. Like I said to him at the end that I thought they were outstanding. And if you've, we've got one moment, you're probably the. I was just I was just that was going to be my next question. Is, is it's very difficult to be critical of mm. any of the lads out there tonight who have they've just played they've played a massive occasion at, yeah. uh, at Luton and then they've come here tonight only 48 hours later and given another a good performance but if there was maybe one area that we maybe let ourselves down a little bit tonight it was it was in and around the the, yeah. the penalty area where we I felt like we created a lot of chances and we, let's say we hit the bar twice yeah um, but we couldn't quite get the get, no. get those three points over the line the, 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 the clearance off the line as well from Thomas Hedder and that but where we, where we, it was more Adam, probably Adam and Rio, particularly got down the right hand side, crosses in the box, and people didn't get, people didn't get to the back post to, to for almost tap, tap it, you know, mm. or to bum the moment or something. And it's, well, is that because, you know, by George is over there, is it because, the, I mean, on Tuesday, I mean, I'd love to see the stats of how far he run Tuesday, because it would have been, Jesus, it would have been 15, 20. I thought, I thought him and Bondi ran, ran yeah, themselves, ran themselves did, yeah. into, the, into the ground from the front. Correct, the and then he's come out here tonight and done it. Once he's come on, he's done it again. He, he came along tonight, didn't, you know, we wanted to try and rest him. And then, then Fish is limping after 20 minutes and he went, I can do second half. And then, then rightfully everyone's saying, look, we need to do something. And he went, okay. And then he's gone and, and he's gone and run and run and run again tonight. So. Might might be might in the end his legs were probably just you know so tight he 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 couldn't get there but and that's just talking about him by the way we had lots of other bodies that could have got there yeah it's just look it's just it's just one of those things I I just think the response was brilliant um, the attitude from them were, were great and you you touched on lots of things you know that nobody was under a seven out of ten they were all I think I think the game in general was a decent watch as well yeah. I, I'd say we we're going behind. Uh, after getting in front and then going behind, I, I thought the game in general was a was a decent spectacle. Well, I said, I mean, I spoke to you a few a week or so ago. I watched the bar, I watched Barton play at Bigglesway Town um, weeks and weeks ago, and but for a sending off, um, I thought on the on the night Barton were were edged the game. Um, look, and again, look, bear in mind that Bigglesway Town were playing probably with with a lot of nerves because of where they are in the league. Um, but Barton first half had so much in the play, and it was a bit of madness, I think, from their centre half that put them down to 10. But even with 10, I think they went two down, got one back, and had another opportunity when a guy got clean through and he's, he's a guy that was alongside the post. They're, they're, you know, I think they're a decent side. Uh, they're obviously not getting probably the results or as many results that they probably should, if we're, if we're honest about them, but they're decent. and. We we barely see a ball off the pitch tonight. That was the that's that you know epitomises the game that they played on the floor. We played on the floor. They went a bit longer second half, and I'd be fair, they went longer a bit in the first half. But but I I'd have, I'd have probably said do the same thing because we had a guy limping, so stick it behind him and and see what he can do. And and of course, in that position, we're struggling we're struggling to handle that. So, but like I say, great. Great response, great performance. Really pleased with with our, you know, with how we've played tonight. Uh, Skip, uh, obviously a not good sight at the end with uh, with Maris going down under the challenge just as we ticked into injury time. Uh, what what can you tell us about that? And uh, yeah, I, I think we have to give great credit to all the uh, Amy and. Obviously, Barton's medical staff and, yeah. and a number of people that reacted really quickly to get over to him and uh, and, and get get that situation dealt with. Yeah, I, mean, I, I spoke to Amy very briefly. It looks like it's his ankle. I mean, I, I don't want to sort of guess what's what, what the outcome will be. So, no doubt you'll probably put something out on social media in the next twenty four hours, forty eight hours. But we know, but yeah, it didn't look good. You could tell their players came over. Um, it looked like his ankles are not, not the best of angles so yeah it's, it's horrible like eh? because it's, it's touch wood it's been quite a long time since we've had been involved in anything like that and me and Dave James were literally just saying because that, that's that's his second start his first start he came off after after a clash 
Um, and he was playing brilliant. I thought he grew into the game. I thought he was getting better and better. He, he looked comfortable on the ball. He, he, he looked. A, I thought he looked a few decent balls in the first half. Where he's checked back onto his right foot and sort of in swinged it into the box. But yeah, yeah it's. it's uh, I mean, it's the lad's been training. Game. He's been training with us for a few weeks. He's, he, he 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 had the he had a run out in a friendly. Then he had the the, the start. Came off quite early first half uh, after a clash. Uh, he's worked his way back in. So I'm devast. I'll be devastated for anybody. But but. That's his first, and he and he grew into the game. He, he doesn't know how we play. He hasn't had the pre-season with us, so he's he's had to sort of play off the cuff, shall we say? So he was doing things that probably um, you'd probably like further forward, but but he was uh, personality was strong enough to express himself. So I'm, I'm devastated for him because again, it, it, and that's what any player there, our side or Barton side, you just don't want to see that. It wasn't that type of game. Um, it's just one of those horrible. It was quite. It was actually quite innocuous. Yeah, it was. Um, yeah. They, it, they, they didn't seem a great deal in it. Um, yeah. But yeah, to, to to see everybody react the way they did, I, yeah. I think I'd say they're they're a credit to them. They're a credit to themselves. Well, again, you, you've just alluded on there. Um, the the Barton physio, she she was on there just as quick as Amy was because you could tell by their players' reaction. So fair play to her. She didn't need asking. She was there. Helping, which is a, a great. That's grassroots football for you, isn't it? Is 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 you you're competing against people. You want to beat people. It's a physical game. But as soon as something like that happened, the football side of it um, goes out the window for a few minutes and makes sure the lads all right. He's gone to hospital. So yeah, answer, answer to your question. I don't know how serious it is. Hopefully, it's, it looks worse than what it is. But um, yeah, and and. The, the good thing I say on the site of it all is the pitch was fine, so no one could say it was the pitch. Yeah. It wasn't on Astro Turf because that would be the next thing if people say, "Oh, it wouldn't have happened on grass." It was pitch was perfect, pitch was solid, totally innocuous. Late in the game, um, yeah, one of those. Well, say we'll uh, we'll update, update everybody soon. Uh, Maris, we wish you uh, we wish you all the best and speedy recovery. I hope it's nothing serious. Uh, gents, another good performance tonight. Thank Congratulations you. and. Uh, we go again another two days time away at Hadley. We'll, so, we'll uh, give them Friday off. Yeah. And then uh, you're too you're too kind, Skitty. <laughs> Enjoy your evening, gents. Thank, Thank you. you. Cheers, Lee.